Now Starlene was 25 and 30 feet up. Vinny watched her for a while, then lost sight of her when she slipped behind a wall of jungle that blocked his view. A few minutes later, she popped back out, now almost at the top where the trail ended, where there was nothing but mud and a few plants to grab onto if you slipped. Plants that wouldn't stop you if you fell, and nothing but your screams between you and the rocks below. That's a long way up. I like how the author makes me feel like I'm there with her, describing the setting with the plants. And he described what would happen if Starlene were to fall. Also, the setting is dangerous for a couple of kids. I noticed that Starlene isn't thinking twice about this, and she's acting fearless. Yeah, she's always the first one to do something dangerous. I can picture how high it must be, and with all the plants surrounding her, and the fact that she, there is mud, she can easily slip and fall. I like how the author says, where there was nothing but mud and a few plants to grab onto if you slipped. That really grabbed my attention. If this were a movie, I would definitely watch it. Yeah, me too. I don't think I'll be able to jump off.